Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. The announcement has been made. D&D 5th Edition is to get a revision and an evolution. And listen, there's a, an expensive uh, trio of books coming out early next year. They're going to have foil covers. We've already seen... Well. I don't play this shit. I'm not a 5e player, but I do recognize the fact that it drives the market. But uh, Xanathar's Guide to Everything and Tash's Codes and Everything are books that have been out. So they're being reprinted with foil covers. There is going to be Monsters of the Multiverse, which is a new book. It's going to be a, it's going to have like a, you know, little bookshelf, uh, oh, whatever the hell you call them, and a new uh, DM screen. And they're going to be asking for 170 bucks. So uh, I'm sure it'll be an opportunity to look for it on Amazon. It's 170 dollars for three books. That, you, that two of which you probably already own. Oh, it's a leave. Uh, it's kind of like, oh, my God. Oh, my dear. Um, now, here's the information, though, that is interesting. And it's because... I'm not going to say I called it because I'm sure a lot of people called it. But uh, they're saying that Ray Winninger announced during the recent D&D Celebration livestream event that the next evolution of Dungeons & Dragons would be arriving in 2024. He was then extremely cagey about the details, so we don't know whether it's going to be a true 6th edition of the Granddaddy Tabletop RPGs or a 5.5 edition, much like the one received by the 3rd edition. He did say it would be compatible with 5th edition which suggests 5.5. However, D&D will be 50 years old in 2024. And they go on and Gizmo to say, well, it's, guy, it's a 50th anniversary. They must be announcing a totally new edition. My feeling is it's a reboot of 5e. They are going to clean up the rules. Mechanics aren't going to be changing. They're going to clean up the races. They're going to make sure that alignments reflect what they want and that uh, creatures like orcs and ogres and goblins and kobolds aren't all evil. This is going to change the core books, but it's not going to change the mechanics. By doing so, it stays completely relevant to use with the prior books. Now, why is that important? Well, look at Paizo, look at Pathfinder 2. Now, besides the fact that Paizo had promised with Pathfinder 1st edition, this, there shall be only one. There will only be the one edition that will not change. And then it became, uh, shit, we need a new edition. All right. Why do you put out new editions in the RPGs? You put out new editions to sell new core books. Yes, some rules are horribly fucked up and you need to streamline them. I understand that. But that's not the reason why I, Pathfinder was still very popular, but had lost market share by far to 5e. So Pathfinder 2 was a way to reboot. Uh, from what I can gather, it is not doing what they had hoped it would do. Now, with 5th edition, 5e is the, the elephant in the room. It is that, you know... Well, when you remember those old commercials and you look at the bull running to the china shop, that is 5e in the gaming community. And you don't take that bull and you, you don't turn into a bullfighter and kill the bull and hey, g give me give me another baby bull to grow. You don't do that. You want to make sure your bull stays relevant. So you reboot the rules. I don't think they're going to call it 6th edition. It's simply going to be D&D. &D. We call... 5e 5th edition because by the OGL you can't declare compatibility with Dungeons and Dragons. So third parties say, oh, we are compatible with the 5th edition of the world's most popular role-playing game. I suspect you're going to see something like, well, we are compatible with the latest edition of the world's most popular role-playing game. Because I don't see them saying, oh, wow, new edition. They're going to push you to buy it because, oh, we fixed this, we fixed that, but it's totally compatible 
to your older books, your older supplements, your older adventures, your older setting material. You don't want to destroy the market that you've already built. You want to build upon that market. So um, if I was a betting man, I would say it's not really 5.5, although I have that in the title probably. Um, I don't think it's going to be 6th edition. It is simply going to be D&D, revised, cleaned up, better than ever, but still the D&D that you know, the Dungeons and Dragons that you've been playing. Because they've seen what Paizo did to their own market, and they don't want to repeat that. Sometimes the best marketing advice you can get is watch what your competitors have done and don't repeat their mistakes. We shall see. It's going to be an interesting time nonetheless. So that's just over two years from now. I, I don't know when they're going to release it in uh, 2024, but the timing is right. And also that's right around when we get the new movie, right? So interesting times to be a D&D player, even old school. Again, 5E, D&D, the brand drives the market. Even the old school publishers, Frog God, Troll Lord, um, Goodman, right? They all publish 5e products to allow them to publish for their own home system uh, in the OSR. So the Wizardry, Castle Crusades, DCC RPG. But 5e is what drives the money. Uh, you guys got to be honest with you. You know, don't don't be upset when, when you hear people say that. So, folks, on that note, we are still in the midst of the world of COVID. Please use your common sense. That's all I ask. All right? Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. And, God willing, I'll be back again tomorrow. All right, folks. <laughs>